should have parked here, but I parked over there. I don't know if I can parallel park in this spot. But I easily could have. But well, welcome back. It is trash day. Need all my strength to uh, carry that air conditioner, I think. So I'll take these first. Kind of heavy. I would have parked in the middle of the road, but usually this road's pretty busy right now. But yes, welcome back, everyone. This one looks heavy. Guess what? It's not light. Well, welcome back. It is trash day, garbage day. Days are really getting shorter with sunlight. It's chilly out, 52 degrees at just shy of five o'clock in the afternoon. So let's find some treasure today. See what happens. Let's do it. I can honestly say it's been a while since this has happened. Back to back stops. Back to back same items. same items I mean literally the same item that uh, it's an air conditioner sometimes you'll find a chair back to back if I can find an air conditioner now and late October ish that's tough it's uh, it's cold out I guess you take them out and you just put them at the, the, the curb must be the move Whew, that is chilly it, uh, it feels like, well, this is probably different for everyone, but it feels like a Thanksgiving Day day. It's, I don't know, for me it's, it has that cold, crisp feel to it, but it's like a little bit colder than most days or most fall days. So it feels kind of nice, it feels different, it's cool, it's nice in the environment. Uh, this kind of reminds me, I just got my air fryer uh, just now. Actually, right when I opened up the door, my package was there. So, that uh, didn't open it. I want to try it out tonight, but by the time I get back, I really won't have time to sit down and cook something like that in the air fryer. Um, probably get Subway on the way home. Or an iced coffee. I know probably an iced coffee at 7 o'clock is probably not the move, but it will be tonight. Um, but yeah, I got my air fryer. I'm super excited to try it out. Dual basket. I, I can't believe I've gotten to this point in my life where I'm excited over using an appliance. Do I go out on a limb and say this is probably not trash? Maybe it is. It looks pretty rusty, but I'll leave it. could have easily fallen over actually ironically enough I had a tree fell over this morning or this afternoon uh, a big one it was all rotted out and uh, I was like man I really need to get that thing cut down and well it fell down by itself it was known kind of like as a squirrel tree because a squirrel would literally just sit on it and eat walnuts non-stop all day long but uh, yeah, it fell over. It was all rotted out. I didn't even know it was rotted out. It, it broke off in half probably a year ago. And now it's just with the wind. I uh, played, played the odds with these items out here. What I mean by that is I drove down this road over here. I was going left. And I circled all the way around and did probably two streets on the other side of town. I was like, hopefully there will still be there. And uh, 
it might not seem like important to other people. Um, I don't know where I was going with that conversation. Wow, I just completely lost my train of thought. Don't worry, it'll come back to me probably in two days. I don't know what I was thinking. That's still in there. What the heck is it? It just says basement. Micro line. Oh, it's a printer. I don't know if it's a game system or a fax machine. It says it's a printer. Somebody also, last time I found these, said they were from the 70s. They remember from the 70s or they remember from the 80s, but they were from the 70s. Can't say I remember the 70s because I wasn't around. I apologize if I just made anyone feel really old there. I can also say the same thing for the 80s. But I'll hold that train of thought so that I don't really offend a lot more people. Wow. These are called glow warm whatever they are. I just see they say glow warm on them. I don't need the printer. I don't know if that would be it. I kind of thought it might be like a Commodore. I think that was a game system from way back when. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can take that. Mark about the skim board I picked up here here last year or two years ago. I don't think so. No, I don't. Take this and walk with me in the garage and tell me if you want this stuff. Alright. I used that skim board you were throwing away last year. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used it like once and I was like, never again. No, 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 no. He's hanging on his seat. That's right. He's yeah. hanging on his little pit. If you look, that two little nail holes in That's it. right. It did have a nail hole in it. Two little nail holes that have him stuck up in there. You're not too far. No, no. You have You have aluminum in there. Yeah. I usually just do wire and brass I get from work. Okay. Perfect. Appreciate it. Oh. oh, okay. Steel beams for it goes under under fence posts. Okay. Trying to think of what else we have to get rid of. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'll be back next week anyway. No problem. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> well, Center uh, Entertainment Center kind of thing. Center Entertainment Center. Wow. That is actually not what that is. That is a. Uh, place where you, I guess maybe it is an entertainment center. Yeah, why not? That's where you put your VHS player. VHS player, wow. Probably like a DVD player, or Blu-ray player. Your VCR box. Is that right? VCR box? Cable box. 
Man, am I really... Jeez, the ways. Talk about tax dollars. Put them into fixing these roads. Goodness gracious. Going for a walk. Except the flashlight work. Is this Harbor Freight? Kind of looks like it's Milwaukee or Harbor or Milwaukee. He cut the cord off it. Right there. I don't know. That's what he did. So it must not have worked. I assume. Alright. Well, made it back home. What am I tripping over? Oh, sticks. All the leaves are really fallen. Should probably just go ahead and show you that tree. The tree, well, maybe you can see it right there. There, you can kind of see it. Anyway, you might be able to see the bottom down here. That broke off earlier, I think this year maybe. And then literally the rest of the entire tree just fell. So, I mean, it was... Think about that thing standing up. It was probably where that... Right where my, my finger is, where it kind of hooks a little. That's probably how tall it was, but it was leaning up this way. I thought maybe it was tall enough where it might inter interwine with this one cable, my power cable that runs across uh, when it was up there. But I was like, eh, it might have fallen, so it'll be probably about two feet short. And well, it was. So it kind of felt like kind of twisted and fell off. So that was very, very fortunate. Um, this fall slash winter, I definitely want to get some of these trees taken out because every time we get a storm. I like literally worry that they're gonna fall on something. It's just a headache beyond a headache. But this is what we grabbed. Nothing really crazy, just a lot of metal. Uh, I will have to make a run to the metal yard tomorrow. Uh, and then I have more air conditioners to uh, rip apart. I took apart one the other day and it probably took me, uh, I'd say like a little less than 15 minutes and I got $22 for it. So I took out the sealed unit. I took out the copper aluminum radiators and then I cut off the copper aluminum radiator, the end piece. I took off all the copper first, and then I took off the steel part. Um, so I got clean copper aluminum radiator price, and then I got a lot of, uh, I call them noodles, but they're elbows, copper elbows, um, that I just threw in a bucket. So I know there wasn't a pound of copper elbows, but definitely over half a pound. Once I accumulate probably half a bucket, I bring that in and probably make about 40 bucks. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of my projects with these. They're fun to do. Uh, once you got all the tools down, and you don't have to like look around for different bits and different size sockets. Once you have it all down, it's very easy as long as the screws aren't rusted out. But uh, that's going to wrap it up here for another trash picking episode. Thanks for tagging along on a chilly night. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button. Share the channel. Help grow the, the Taco Stacks community. If you want to see more, subscribe down below. Catch you guys next time for the next episode. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.